Sweet 29, let's take a look at these plants. Our Mexican lime still putting out green growth. Kind of hardening off a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit more leaf miners here. But some growth is still unaffected. It's right there. Blueberry is still growing. Oh, this thing's getting pretty big actually. Around the top. Almost four feet tall now. Last year our blueberries didn't go dormant. So it would be interesting to see if these don't either. But yeah, still growing. The Jan Boyce is putting down a lot more vertical growth as well. Every week I say I'm going to up-pot it and I just get too lazy. <laughs> I mean, it's still okay. You know, it's not suffering yet. And it's still growing. Even this flush here is still looking good. I should up-pot up it. And the unknown pastillier. I believe their wasp is gone. But it's still putting out fruit. It's interesting. If I had a better variety, I would have had a much better harvest. Or if I had a, a variety that didn't need, like, uh, the wasp. Didn't need pollination. But I still get a lot of fruit from my other figs. Maybe somewhere more inland. Or somewhere with more male Smyrna figs. That's week 29 for our trees. So let's take a look at the jujubes because uh, I know somebody wants an update on those. All right, first one is Shanxi Ligi. Starting to go into dormancy. I'm out of fruit on here, and most of them were gotten by pests who also damaged my tree. So that's not the best situation, but it's okay. You can see the leaves are turning yellow. It shakes them all. Chico is already gone dormant, you know. All the all the foliage just dropped off. And maybe this is why it was yellow so early on. Hard to say. But Chico fruit was good. I enjoyed it. It was a little bit different than, than Li or Shanxi Li. It has that little bit of that tart taste, but they're significantly smaller. This is a normal Li in a five gallon. And uh, didn't get much fruit on this. And I think I, it looks small, but I will tell, I'll bet you this is severely root bound. Because the other ones were very root bound as well. Black seed did not grow vertically at all. I put it in a five gallon from a two gallon, and I think it's done for the year. I think I'll cut it back to here, up down here, and see if that encourages more vertical growth. Because, uh, you know, I was thinking last year when I got it that the tip did break off and I think that's what caused it to only grow laterally because jujubes you need to cut off the tip and you need to cut off the secondary or the other main side branch cut that back too so that it will grow vertically because one cut up top stops the growth and the second one will cause it to grow vertically again it's really weird all right next is tiger tooth that I got from a man in Florida and this has been putting out fruit all year, like this you can see. But I have not ate one edible fruit off of it. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Maybe because I keep up potting it. Because this started in a one gallon and now it's in a 15. So this has been growing crazy, crazy fast. But it hasn't gone into dormancy. You see that? It's still, still fruiting. But no more flowers at this point. And my last one is uh, the GA-866. You know, I bagged this one early on, so the pest didn't get much fruit. And I've been getting basically all of it. So every day I would just come in and I'll open up the bag. I'll zip it right here. And then just go in there and get I get a pocket full of jujubes. Just like that. A lot of these are, are dry now. I'll just kind of get a pocket full. Just 
like this. But hey, dog, you want some juju bees? But that's kind of been what I've been snacking on the past couple weeks, about a month. Yeah, really good to bag your juju bees, get all your fruit. And that's it. You know, this looks like it's gonna go into dormancy pretty soon too. After all the fruit's gone, probably, and I might just harvest it now. And I think I will decide whether I will top this one or not. Last year I didn't with good results, so maybe I'll just keep it that way. All right, thanks for watching. Rose go wild. That's what they call me. I'm the man with a plan growing naturally. From the dirt to the table, it's a beautiful sight. Yeah, grows gone wild. We're living it right.